Homer Simpson loves them and they taste great with a hot cup of coffee. There's a wide variety available, but what goes into making them? They start out in a factory like this one. The first ingredient is the yeast. This helps the dough to rise and gives the ring its light fluffy texture. The yeast works faster if conditions are warm, but if it's too warm, the yeast cells will die. So on hot days, ice is added into the mix. Next is flour and plenty of it. To make 20,000 donuts, this factory uses nearly three quarters of a ton of flour every day. Now, you may not know this, but donut chefs also have to be amateur weather forecasters. If the air is too humid, the chef must use less water in his mixture, so he has to check his barometer and weather maps every time he starts a new batch of dough. If it looks like wet weather's coming, he needs to adjust his mixture, otherwise his donuts just won't rise properly. Once he's satisfied he's got the right recipe for the conditions, it's time to turn out another batch of fresh donuts. This one mix will be enough to make 750 fresh rings. This chef's job is to divide the mix and beat out any unwanted air bubbles. The dough is then sent to the rollers to flatten it, ready to be cut into donut-sized pieces. It needs a few passes to get it just right. Now, the mystery of where the traditional hole in donuts came from has never been properly explained. However, the most popular story is that a baker's apprentice didn't like the cakes his mum cooked for him, because they were often raw in the middle. She started putting nuts in, but he also took these out. So, dough with nuts, which were removed, became donuts with a hole in the middle. The machine helps them with the holes today, and to save money, no one throws the middle bits away anymore either. But we'll learn more about them in a minute. The donuts are now laid out on a board and sent to a warm cupboard for 50 minutes, where the yeast can get to work and help the dough to rise. This gives the workers just enough time to cook the middles as well. Now, this has to be an unsatisfying job. After neatly laying out exactly 120 medals onto a tray, a colleague collects them and dumps them into a deep fat fryer, where all the tidy ordering is ruined. While they're sizzling away, the boss keeps an eye on the donuts rising in their cupboard. At 38 degrees Celsius, they're growing nicely. Back to the middles. They've crisped nicely in a bath of hot soy oil at 190 degrees Celsius. They're then removed and coated in a thick, sticky layer of icing sugar and sold as individual donut bites. Now it's the turn of the donuts. They also have to take their turn in the hot oil bath. Enough to cook one side, then they're flipped over and the other side is cooked to perfection. When they emerge, they look like donuts, but they don't taste of very much. So now they need a topping. And popular flavors include strawberry, toffee, custard, and cinnamon. Some even come with multicolored sprinkles. Every day, this factory produces around 20,000 donuts to be shipped out all over the country. So that's the tempting tale behind the much-loved but highly calorific sticky ring donuts. 